Now we're talking about forms, and forms are a very powerful tool inside BombBomb, yet so many people don't take advantage of them. So hopefully this will give you the information, inspiration, motivation you need to get in there and make your first form in BombBomb and experience how powerful it can be. Forms are a great way to collect contact information and to build your permission-based email marketing lists. So we've all seen forms, they're everywhere, right? This is just, you put in a little bit of information, you hit enter or submit. Right? So now, as someone who's making the form, you can set that up so that when someone hits enter or submit, they can go onto one or more of your email marketing lists inside your BombBomb account. Or they can get an autoresponder email, a single email that goes immediately as soon as they hit enter. Or they can even start into a drip campaign that you make. We'll talk about drips in the la next video. It's our last video. Um, so you can uh, promise value in your form. Someone can put in their information, by the way, the less information you ask for, the less you require that information, the more your form is gonna get filled out. But of course, the less information you have about that person. That's another one of those art and science type things that you're gonna to wanna to play with. How much information can I ask for and still get a lot of people to fill the form out? How much can I require and still get people to fill the form out? You gotta think about both sides of it. Your best case scenario is to ask for lots of information, require every field, and get lots of people to fill it out. But the more fields you put in there, and the more you require that those fields be completed to submit the form, uh, the less the form is going to get filled out. So it's an art and a science. How much can I ask for? How much do I really need, I think, is the best question to ask yourself. What do I really need from these folks? Uh, I would say first name, last name, email address, and phone number. Um, and you require whatever you actually require. Email address is required because it's part of BombBomb to go onto an email list of yours. So anyway, a few thoughts there. So. Uh, another thing you can do to get people to fill your forms out is promise value. And you can add uh, graphics, you can add videos to your forms uh, explaining why, why someone should fill it out and what they're going to get when they do fill it out. So if you promise some value, say um, a white paper or a list of tips, a first time home buyer's guide here in Colorado Springs, no matter what your promise of value is, that's also going to help people fill uh, forms out. Now, the last thing I'll share with you here, there are two ways to think about forms, active and passive. And I think we're most uh, familiar with passive forms. These are forms that you make in BombBomb and you can embed them in a website or embed them in a blog, uh, embed them anywhere you want online and just have them sitting there and, and draw some attention to them. Again, you can add graphics, you can add uh, text, you can add headlines and explainers, you can um, add videos, you can add custom fields to your form, you can change their appearance and all of this and then embed them anywhere online. And that's passive, it just sits there and works for you, collects information as people fill it out. The other one is active. And this is a case where you might make a simple form and put it on your tablet, your iPad or your Android tablet, or uh, put it on your smartphone, your iPhone or your Android phone or whatever else you might have, and put it as a desktop shortcut and pop that thing open. So if you're at a networking event, let's say, or if you're at, uh, if you're a real estate professional, I go to these examples because we have a lot of real estate customers, um, but I'm sure you can understand even if you're not a real estate professional, if you're at an open house, and you ha just have it on your iPad. Hey, can I send you a video email about the house? Sure, what's your email address? You enter that in. They can be added to a list of people I met at 123 Elm Street, and they can get that autoresponder of the video highlights of the home. Or in a networking event, same thing. Uh, great to meet you. Uh, remind them what your name is. Just wanted to put a face with the name. Uh, thanks for the conversation, that kind of thing. And they can automatically receive that if you like. Or you could just collect them in a list and follow up with them later. So um, that would be an active scenario. A couple examples there of active lead capture. Uh, and now Jonathan is going to show you how easy it can be to make a form, customize it how you like, add people to your lists, and send uh, emails and video emails in response uh, to those form fills. You know, there are all kinds of creative ways that you can use forms. In this example, I want to create a simple form that I can embed on my website where people can sign up for my newsletter. Let me show you how. I'll start by clicking on the new form button. Now, these are all the fields in my form that I can edit or remove. I'll start by editing this field here. Once I have it the way I like it, I'll click Save. Now, I don't have a lot of room on my website, so I'm going to remove everything but email address from this form just by selecting the Remove button here. There, that looks pretty good. Now down here I'll get a little preview for what my form is going to look like. I'd like to select an option that I think is going to look nice on my website. I'll choose this one, Elegant. 
I think that looks pretty good. Down here, I see my form options. Form title is simply a save as name. I'll call it my newsletter form. Now check this out. A moment ago, from my list tab, I created a new list called newsletter list. Down here, under form options, I see the option to automatically add the contact to these lists. So I select my newly created newsletter list from the drop down menu, and I see that it's automatically added. Here's another cool thing. Earlier, from my emails tab, I created a simple video email introducing myself and thanking folks for joining my newsletter list. It's called Newsletter Thank You. Right down here in Form Options, I see the option to automatically send the contact these emails. So I select my Newsletter Thank You email from the list and I see that it's added as well. Now, after a customer fills out my form, I want them to see a simple message that says, Thank you. We appreciate your submission. I'm going to go ahead and save these options. Now remember, I want to embed this form on my website. Let me show you how to do that. Up at the top here, I'll select this embed icon. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I'll see the embed code right here. I'm going to copy this and send it to my web developer so that they can publish this to my website. Here's another neat thing here. If I click back on the forms, so I can see all the forms that are in my account, you'll notice this shortcut right up here. This is where my form resides on the website. I can click it to actually view my form. Here's my form here, and I'll sign up for my newsletter to make sure everything's working smoothly. And I'll hit submit. Looks good. Curious to see who's filling out your form? Simply click on the track icon here and it will pull up a report with all the information that you have on your form. That's it. So there you are, completely custom forms, easily built in bomb, bomb very powerful tool. And again, I don't think that enough people are taking advantage of those, so hopefully you can. Uh, I talked a little bit earlier about drips, drip email campaigns. The next video is all about drips, so you'll learn a little bit more about what they are, how you might want to use them, and see how to construct one. Very easy to do.